Hi, I'm Caleb Giddings from Gunnuts Media, and unfortunately, today's video is not good news. My 2020 shooting season and my plans to launch revolver classes and some other important classes for 2020 appear to be at an end. Unfortunately, this is not a new cool fashion accessory. This is what the orthopedic doctor at Jackson Memorial here in Miami gave me yesterday after diagnosing me with a, I believe the technical term is a hella broken shoulder. Here's the backstory on what happened. I have a motorbike. It's a wonderful thing. It's great for commuting around Miami and I ride it pretty frequently. I actually daily ride it when I'm in town, and yesterday I was riding it home from picking up some groceries and things like that, and a cyclist ran a red light in front of me as I was crossing the street with the green light. Uh, I rolled a critical failure on my acrobatics check to dodge the cyclist, and the front and basically I lost the front of the bike and I went endo over the handlebars at like 25 miles an hour. According to the doctor, my humerus is broken in two places and we're looking at an eight to 12 week recovery time. This means that the upcoming match that I was gonna shoot in Tallahassee, the tri-state border disorder, out. Uh, if everything goes perfectly according to schedule, I might be able to shoot the Illinois State Championship in September, but the odds of everything going perfectly according to schedule are eh, slim and none with injuries like this. So, 2020 is kind of a wash for me. I mean, it wasn't a great year anyways. I guess of all of the years that this could have happened, the year where there's no IDPA Nationals, so I don't have to, you know, really train up for that, I guess this is the best possible year for this to happen to me, but still being out for eight to 12 weeks kind of sucks. If I'm lucky, I'll be back in November in time to shoot the uh, Space Coast Challenge, which I'd really like to do. My whole plan for the season had been to take a deep dive back into CCP. I had finished in the top 10 in the nation in CCP at the 2018 Nationals, and I really wanted to spend some time and some training energy to get that division down. Because I think of all of IDPA's divisions, it's the one that makes the most sense. But looks like we're gonna have to wait for 2021 for that. Uh, now, I do wanna talk about some other stuff, some gear that I was wearing at the time that I'm genuinely impressed by. So also, this is for the people who say that like AIWB is super dangerous. When I landed, I landed proned out with my left arm extended. Obviously I can't extend my left arm, but I kind of landed proned out with my left arm extended. And I landed right on my Beretta APX in my JM Custom Kydex holster. And you can see that the studs on the pull the dot loops have been scratched up and there is some minor scratching here on the back of the gun, but that is the extent of the damage to the holster and the gun. To say I am impressed with this piece of equipment is putting it mildly. Uh, JM Custom Kydex makes a hell of a holster because this thing took the brunt of the impact and it's fine. And the gun's fine too. The APX slide held up really well considering it got dragged across the concrete. <clears throat> I do have some pretty gnarly road rash, which I can't show you, but the reason I got road rash on my upper body is because I was just wearing a t-shirt. I was wearing a full face helmet. I have always worn a full face helmet, even when just riding a scooter, because I understand physics and how that works. And honestly, if I hadn't been wearing this helmet, I probably wouldn't be having this conversation with you guys today. There's a huge scratch down the side of my helmet where the helmet hit the ground instead of my face or my forehead or something like that. But now the other piece of gear that I really wanna talk about briefly, and I apologize uh, for how slowly I'm moving, is these. These are my 5'11 pants. And do you see that little spot right there? That's all the damage they took. These things, I hit and slid. I've got road rash down my arm. I've got it on my abdomen where my t-shirt didn't protect me. And on my knee, 
it looks like I scraped my knee. Like you would get falling off your bicycle when you, when you were a kid. And that is entirely because of these 5'11 pants, which I always thought were good pants. And I'm not paid by 5'11. I'm not endorsed by them or anything like that. I bought these pants with my own American money. And uh, they kept me from getting a much more serious scrape, road rash, potential for infection on my legs. So that was really cool, 5'11. You guys are menches and you make great gear. And the last piece of gear that I wanna talk about that I'm not gonna show you because I left him in the other room and moving hurts was my Danner Tachyon boots. I wear boots that cover my ankles when I ride because I like my ankles. And the Tachyons also took a direct hit and were dragged along and I have no injuries on my ankles whatsoever. Like it feels like I fell and I'm a little tight and sore, but the gear that I chose did great. Like back to the holster, the holster, the gun didn't even come out of the holster. I slid for a good five meters on asphalt and the gun stayed put the whole way. And that's awesome. And that, aside from the sadness that my shooting season is over and I'm not going to get to go, you know, win some CCP trophies this year. Uh, what I really want to talk about is why it's important to buy good gear. We all live in the real world, right? We carry our guns, we do stuff. And because I had a quality handgun in a quality holster, because I was wearing good pants and I had a good gun belt on, I had my, um, uh, they used to be called Graith, Mastermind Tactic, Masterpiece, Mastermind, Masterpiece. Anyway, I'll post a link to it in the show notes, but it's Mastermind Tactical. It used to be Graith. They make great gun belts. They're awesome. Uh, because I had all this good gear on, all my stuff was fine. My gun's fine. My holster's fine. It didn't slide out of the holster. It didn't discharge or anything like that. Everything is mostly okay. And in the grand scheme of things, I'm mostly okay. Yes, I have a concussion. Yes, my arm's broken in two places. Yes, I have a giant three by five index card sized piece of road rash on my forearm, but I was wearing a helmet, which means... I'm not in a fucking bag. And that is what really matters. Wear your PPE, people. If you ride a scooter, a motorcycle, an e-bike that goes 30 miles an hour, wear your PPE. You don't want to end up in a box. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I will still be posting videos as this heals. We're going to follow through my recovery and follow through the physical therapy that I need to do to get back to shooting. I'm fortunate that I've always shot right-handed despite actually being left-handed. So I should be able to, hopefully in a couple of weeks, start dry firing, start doing that again. Uh, right now, any movement with this is contraindicated because it, uh, I believe the technical term is hurts like a motherfucker. Uh, if you would like to support me in this time of desperate need, you should go buy merch and we'll put the links to the merch show merch store in the show notes. I'm Caleb Giddings. Thanks for watching and wear your fucking helmets.